Hello viewers, you are welcome to this video. Today I want us to look at Pascal's triangle for binomial expansion. Pascal's triangle for binomial expansion. Pascal's triangle is a triangular array of numbers used to find the coefficients of binomial expansion with positive integral indices such as a plus x or raised to the power n. Now, US, when you write something like this, say A is a monomial. If I write A plus B is a binomial, by means 2. By means 2. So this is a binomial. I can also write x squared plus y. This is also a binomial. So you want to use Pascal's triangle to expand expressions like this. For example, when you have say A plus B all raised to the power 4. How do you use Pascal's triangle to, to, to solve this? Now, bless Pascal, a French philosopher, physicist, and mathematician's triangle is given as follows. When you have this binomial, you have binomial, binomial, and then this side coefficients. Now when you have something like this, a plus x raised to the power zero, then the coefficient will be one. Now when you have a plus x raised to the power one, then you are saying this is one, one. Yes, we want to come up to the, the, the Pascal's triangle. When you have a plus x raised to the power or raised to the power 2, then what is what you are going to do? Pascal is saying that you write this one and then add these two. 1 plus 1 is 2, write it at the middle. Are you seeing it? And then this, you write this one. It's a triangle. And then when you have a plus x or raised to the power 3, then you write the one. So look at it. You see it's a triangle. So write the one here. 1 plus 2 is 3, write it here. 2 plus 1 is 3. And you go and write this one here. Then, then you have a plus x all raised to the power 4. You write the one here. 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. And then write this one here. And then when you have a plus x raised to the power c5 raised to the power 5 then you have 1 here 1 plus 4 is 5 4 plus this one is 10 this one is 10 this is 5 this is 1 now when you have a plus x or raised to the power 6 you see it 1 plus 5 is 6 5 plus 10 is 15 and then 10 plus 10 is 20. 10 plus 5 is 15. 5 plus 1 is 6. And then write this one. So if you are touching, so the triangle will just move on. It will go like this. So if you can, you guys look at what is happening. So this is a triangle. Look at it. Look at how it is moving. So this is a triangle. So if it's a plus x to the power 7, then the pattern will continue. So this is Pascal's triangle. So these are the coefficients. So when a question is given to you and you see that it is raised to the power 1, then these are the coefficients. If it is raised to the power 2, these are the coefficients. If the power is 3, the coefficients are 1, 3, 3, 1. This is the that the first term will go with this coefficient. The second term will go with this third term and the fourth term. If whatever you have been given is raised to the power 4, then these should be the coefficients. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Are you seeing it? And then if it is 5, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. And then the last one, as far as this is concerned, 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. So if you want to continue, for example, e plus x, or is the past uh, 7, we write 1. 1 plus this 7, this plus this 21, this plus this 35, right at the middle. This plus this 35. 21, 7, and then 1. 
and then it continues in that way. So this is Pascal's triangle. So viewers, let's look at uh, some questions. For example, you can say you can say that you can say use Pascal's triangle to uh, solve something like this. When I give you say one plus x all raised to the power five. If you want to expand this using Pascal's triangle, how do you go about it? How are you going to go about this? So let's look at the solution. Because this is raised to the power 5, the coefficients you are going to use should be 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Yes, so you have to look at the power, and the power will tell you the coefficients you have to use. Okay. So when you time a question is given to you, you can just construct the, 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 the triangle and try to use the corresponding uh, coefficients. Okay. So as far as this question is concerned, the coefficients are 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Okay. So now let me clean this one and then you look at the question. So this is the question. I've been asked, so solution, solution, I've been asked to uh, expand this, 1 plus x, all raised to the power 5, using Pascal's triangle. So when the question is given to you, you have to get the coefficients, as uh, I've done here, these are the coefficients, so you just write, coefficients, coefficients, equal to 1, or you can just say coefficients are, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and then the last one is 1. Now, having done this, let me write this 5 word. Now, having done this, this is what they are going to do. You move on to the, the powers of 1. Now, the powers of 1 will start from 5, go to 4, 3, 2, 1. And to get it gets to uh, zero. We have the lambda and this. So powers of one. This is equal to so the powers of one are. So we are going to have. Let me just see R. Now look at how I want to give you the simplest method you can ever get. So I'm going to write five here. The next one it will reduce to four. It will reduce to three. To reduce to 2, to go to 1, to get to 0. Now, the powers of x, you're going to have 1 and then x. When this one is starting from 5, that of x will start from 0 and it will increase to until it gets to 5. So, at every point, the sum of the powers should give you 5 because everything is raised to the power 5. Z1 plus L is the power 5. So at every point, if you look at it, if you sum the powers, you should get 5. So when as the power of the, the 1 is re, uh, reducing, then the power of X will be increasing. So having obtained this, we are now going to see, therefore, when I'm going to expand 1 plus X, all raised to the power 5, is equal to viewers look on the board. So we know that for the first step is the coefficient. So I'll write it. Are you seeing it? Now, the powers of 1 are 5. So for the first step, the power of 1 is 5. So it's going to be 1 raised to the power 5. Are you seeing it? Now, the power of x is 0. So I'm done with the first step. The coefficient is 1. The power of 1 is 5. The power of x is 0. Then I move on to the next step. The next term, the coefficient is 5. Okay. And then the power of 1 is 4. I want you to understand that, so I'm taking my time to write all this. And the power of x is 1. Are you seeing it? Yes. Look at it. So the coefficient is 5. The power of 1, uh, one is 4. The power of x is 1. So at every point, look at it. 5 plus 0 is equal to the 5. 4 plus 1 equals to 5. Plus, let me go to the next one. The next one, the coefficient is 10. The power of 1 is 3. And the power of x is 2. 
Then the next term, the next term, let me continue from here. The coefficient is 10. The power of 1 is now 2. And the power of x is 3. Are you seeing it? Now, the next one, the coefficient is 5. The power of 1 is 1. The power of x is 4. Plus, the last one, the coefficient is 1. I want you to understand that's why I'm doing all this. And the power of 1 is 0. The power of x is 5. So we are now going to take our time to expand uh, everything. Now, let's look at what is happening. Let's look at what is happening. Now, 1 times 1 raised to the power 5 is 1. And x raised to the power 0 is 1. So we do, uh, it will be 1 times 1 times 1. So this is 1. Plus 1 raised to the power 4 is 1. x raised to the power 1 is x. So it's going to be 5 times 1 times x. That is 5x. Plus, 1 raised to the power 3 is 1. x raised to the power 2 is x squared. So it's going to be 10 times 1 times x squared. So it's going to be 10 x squared. I see it. Now the next one, 1 raised to the power 2 is 1. And x raised to the power 3 is x cubed. So it's going to be 10 times 1 times x cubed. So 10 x cubed. 10 x cubed. So the next one, 1 raised to the power 1 is 1. So in this one, we have 5x raised to the power 4. Plus, 1 raised to the power 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1 times x raised to the power 5. Isn't it? So in ascending powers of x, this will be the solution. This will be the expansion of this. Yes, when you expand this, this is what you are going to get using the Pascal's triangle. So if you guys have seen that, it's not difficult at all. You just have to know the coefficients and then the powers of the first one will start from what has been given to you here and it will reduce until it gets to zero. And when it is mean that the, the, the powers of the other one will start from zero and increase by one until it gets to the power that was given to you. Okay, so this is it. Now let's look at another question and bring this lecture to an end. Two, question number two. You can do something like this. 2x minus y, all raised to the power three. Then I ask you to use Pascal's triangle to expand something like this. To expand something like this. So you see that the power is three. So if the power is three, if you are doing the Pascal's triangle, you have one, 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 two, one, one, three, three, one. So because the power is 3, these will be the coefficients. 1, 3, 3, 1. This will be the coefficients. So let's quickly look at it. So you have to see the coefficients. Coefficients are 1, 3, 3, and then 1. Are you seeing it? Now, so now the powers of 2x will start from 3. You go to two and then in that order. So you see powers of two s are three, two, one, and then zero. Now powers of if you do it this way, you always get it right. Powers of Negative y are zero because this one started from three. So at every point when you add the powers, you should get it to that one. That was two. So zero. If you go to one, go to two, and you get to three. Now therefore, two x minus y all raised to the power three is equal to. So if you pick the first one, the coefficient is one. And then the power of 2x is 3. So 2x all raised to the power 3. And then the power of negative y is 0. So let me write the power 0. So I'm done with the first one. 
And the second one, the coefficient is 3. And the power of 2x has now reduced to 2. And the power of negative y has gone to 1. I say it. Plus, the next one, the coefficient is 3. The power of 2x has reduced to 1. And the power of negative y has gone to 2. And lastly, the coefficient is 1 here. The power of 2x is 0. And that of negative y is 3. So let's take our time and expand the time and expand this. So look at what you can see that negative y raised to the power 0 is 1. So 2x raised to the power 3. That would be 2 raised to the power 3, which is 8. And x raised to the power 3. So 8 is cubed. Now, let's look at this one. Negative y raised to the power 1 would be negative y. Now, 2 raised to the power 2 x raised to the power 2 would be 4x squared. 4x squared. So this one would be 4 times 3. That would be uh, 12. So that would be 12 x squared y. But because this y is negative, it will affect everything. So I'm going to have this is 4 times this, 12 x squared and then because the y is negative to affect this and the next one negative y always the power 2 will be y squared i said it so 3 times 2 is 6 so it's going to have plus 6 x y yes y squared 6 x y squared because negative y raised the power 2 is uh, y squared and then the last one the last one will be this Negative y raised to the power 3 will be negative y. Y uh, cubed. Yes, negative y raised to the power 3 will be negative y cubed. So it will make the whole of this negative. Now, 2x always to the power 0 will be 1. Times 1 will be 1. Times this one. So that will be negative y cubed. Are you seeing it? So this will be the, 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 the final answer to this question using Pascal's triangle. So viewers, you have seen that the Pascal's triangle is not in code at all. Thank you very much for your attention. For more of these videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shamala Junior. Thank you very much.